Fancy Mandy here. Uh, we're in my kitchen. We're going to be making some uh, dessert for Thanksgiving, which is um, this Thursday. Uh, when I post this, it might be after Thanksgiving, so I do apologize, but I figured I'd show you what I am making, and uh, it's my first time making it, so hopefully it turns out well. Uh, it's called Caramel Apple Cheesecake uh, Bars. Um, so make sure if you want to, I will put the um, recipe down in the description box. So if you feel like making it, uh, you'll be able to. Um, also, uh, I won't be talking a lot during this because I'm not that great at cooking <laughs> and I have to focus because this is for family so I want to make sure that they get something that they're going to enjoy as well. And I do apologize for the lighting, I decided to start recording fairly later in the day right as the sun is coming through my kitchen window. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get to it. <sighs> okay, so um, <clears throat> I have three different bowls, and in each bowl there will be a different part of the recipe. So in the larger bowl, I will be making all of the cream cheese uh, filling, or the cheesecake filling. Um, in this more medium, probably about the same size bowl, the clear bowl, I will be mixing in the uh, crust. And then in the smaller bowl, I will be doing the apples. We're gonna cut three apples. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a cook. And then I have a bowl over here where I'm just gonna put my the core and the eggshells and everything, so that'll just be a trash bowl. Okay, so we got three Granny Smith apples. And then um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna wash them beforehand, at least I will, um, and take the stickers off, of course. So we're going to do the apples first because I feel like that's going to be the most time consuming because you have to peel, core, and chop them into small pieces. So. leave as much of the apple as possible because of course it's an apple you just take the core out okay. make sure you're preheating your oven while you're doing all of this so that it's ready to go uh, when all your ingredients are combined and put together um, you need to preheat the oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit.
Okay. Now we have all the apples chopped into small pieces and cored. They are peeled. Uh, we need to add in two teaspoon, two tablespoons of sugar. My grandma gave me some sugar. Okay, and then let's see. This is a tablespoon. Okay, we'll need two of them. Two tablespoons of sugar, and then it doesn't specify how much cinnamon and nutmeg it needs. My grandma did give me apple spi apple pie spice, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it. Um, just a few shakes, and then you mix it in together. Make sure everything, all of it gets covered. It smells delicious. And I probably did, it's supposed to be, <laughs> um, doesn't quite say what So that's right. And if it's not, it'll still taste good. My family tends to be pretty receptive of trying new things that I make. And this looked pretty delicious. My grandma looked, thought it looked delicious. So um, that's why I went ahead and decided that that was what I was going to make. So I have that all mixed gonna rinse my spoon I'm gonna put this in my refrigerator until everything else is ready we're gonna do the flour oh wait the flour or the um the crust I believe this is it One thing of butter and two. So we needed two sticks of butter because that's one cup of butter. And two. Okay. Then we need a half a cup of firmly packed brown sugar. Here's my half cup. Here's my brown sugar. Brown sugar. it's firmly packed so you need once you get it full you need to pack it down with your hands because or if you have a special tool to pack it down do that I don't know I'm not I'm making a mess here okay and I think I think that's good that in and then two cups of flour this is flour we're gonna go ahead and get two cups of it
I have a feeling she gave me exactly two, two cups, maybe. Okay, so that whoop, one, and then one more cup. She gave me a little over. Two cups flour. Go ahead and close that back up. break from that because my arm is starting to hurt. We'll get my pan ready. Okay. And actually I probably should have done this step first because this will take because I have to bake it. So what do I need? It needs to be lined with heavy duty um, tin foil and I have the Reynolds wrap grill so it's big enough um, and it says heavy duty nonstick so we got the right Okay, so my camera turned off in the middle of me mixing up the crust still. So I went ahead and finished mixing it, put it in the pan. I had to do an even layer and then I put it in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes. Um, now what I'm going to do is mix in this larger bowl, which isn't very large, um, the cheesecake part. Um, so what I'm going to do is combine or beat the cream cheese with three fourth cup sugar with the electric mixer and then until it's smooth and then I'm going to add the eggs and vanilla and then sub, um, stir it and then once the crust is done pour it on the warm crust. Okay? Alright, so we're going to move across the kitchen so that I can use the blender or the mixer. <laughs>
Okay, for this part, we are making the streusel topping. Um, you're gonna need one cup firmly packed, again, uh, brown sugar. <clears throat> then you're gonna need one cup flour, half a cup of the quick cooking oats, which I have right here, that's what they look like. And then one cup, which is one stick, or not one cup, half a cup, which is one stick of uh, butter, which is softened. Now I'm going to go wash my hands and it says the easiest way to do this is to mix it with your hands. So we're going to take the cream cheese and evenly disperse it over the crust. apples And then we're going to do the streusel topping. So this is what it looks like before we put it in. That's with all the layers except for the caramel, which we do after. Okay, so I'll be back in 45, 40 to 45 minutes, and we will see how it turned out. Okay guys, so we're back, and I am about to pull it out of the oven in just a couple seconds. Put my fire gloves on. I already measured out the caramel to a half cup and we're just going to uh, drizzle it, but apparently I'm not so good at Okay, and then I'm going to let this cool down and then try a piece. Okay, I've given it time to cool and uh, I'm not so good at cutting, so <laughs> Here, we're gonna go ahead and taste it. it smells really good. Mm. This is so good. It's sweet and sour.
definitely recommend you guys making you guys some too. It says to serve it cold, but I think that's so it won't fall apart, right? But it tastes delicious warm. So I recommend it either way. I just dropped a piece. So for my first time baking it, pretty pleased. If you guys like this video, please comment, subscribe, like the video. Um, remember, have a beautiful day. Bye.